In this video, we will discuss the Toolspace Prospector tab. The Toolspace window or palette is where the Prospector, Settings, Survey, and Toolbox tabs reside. The Prospector tab is where you manage the Civil 3D design objects that are in your drawing. While going through this video, it is important to note the way that each category in the Prospector tab works. Each category and subcategory has context sensitive right click menus that make the creation, editing, and viewing of that data much easier. Let's look at an example of this. Let's go ahead and expand the surfaces category and notice that we have an existing ground surface called EG in here. If you keep expanding, you'll notice the subcategories that make up this surface definition. If we expand the definitions category and select the break lines collection, you'll notice we have two sets of break lines that were brought into this surface. Again, because this is Civil 3D, these break lines are probably objects in the file and they're dynamically linked to the surface. If you edit any of the objects in the file, the surface will update automatically. If we select one more into the break lines category, you'll notice that these are the actual break lines that were brought in. If you right click on a category, you'll notice the option to do things like add. Or if we right click on, let's say, the actual surfaces collection, you'll notice the option to create surfaces from different types of data. If you toggle on the global preview option and then select an actual surface, you'll be able to see a preview of that surface in the preview pane. Again, this is pretty cool. You can actually rotate the view and see this in 3D. If you're not seeing that surface or any other sub object, simply right click on the actual data type and click on show preview. Let's look at another example of some objects that are in our file. If we expand the alignments category, center line alignments, we have an existing alignment here. One of the other really great things that you can do is if let's say an object is not displayed, you can actually select the object. That way you can make edits to it from the contextual ribbon. Simply right click and choose select and this will allow you to select that object. And then you can see in the contextual ribbon, you can actually make changes. If we keep expanding, you'll notice we have a profiles category because profiles are children of alignments. We also have the profile view, which is also in here, as well as a sample line. Civil 3D also provides icons that enhance your design session by giving you kind of quick visual feedback. For instance, you can see we have this little orange shortcut icon. This is telling you that this object is being used somewhere in the drawing. In this case, it's being used by this profile as well as this profile, and it's also being used in the profile view. If we were to delete these objects, this icon would then go away, allowing us to delete it if we wanted to.